Good evening and welcome back to Factorio, where I am joined by Nerdy Gamer. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And that, that, that did not come through. Say hello it did again. not come through. Hello, it, hello. It, it, that that came through. There we go. That's better. That was really strange on my end. It just it was. I heard the O oh part. But um, uh, uh, but um, we can proudly report uh, success. Yes, we can. Whilst we nuke some biters. Nuke them. Nuke them. Nuke the bastards! Yay! I just need to yes. get my nukes um, in my my Spidertron as well. Yes, and because and that'll help. Base. Kill some biters. But yes, we we have we our goal was a thousand science per minute. Yep. And we have achieved this uh, for at least an hour. I'm gonna nuke you if you. If you I'm, I'm gonna nuke you. I can see it coming. We need to walk different directions. <laughs> <laughs> don't um, nuke me. I've nuked myself enough. Yeah, I say you don't need me. Don't need me to nuke you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yes, if you look at the production sets, that's and uh, type in the word pack. And can <laughs> someone explain to me why I get rails? Let, let, let's do that. Let's let, let, let's. Uh, are we looking at one hour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Science. That one point one k a minute. And no, no rails. It's it's only uh, a Sajog who thinks that rails are science. <laughs> Can someone explain why I type the word pack up here and I get rails? Sometimes I get repair packs. That makes sense because they have the word pack in them. But rails do not. Nowhere in the description does it have the word pack. But no, I get them in the list. It's very weird. It is very weird. But why don't you just type science? Uh, because pack is only four letters. Oh, it's, it's laziness. <laughs> it's laziness. <laughs> Yes, it's laziness. But, but yes, we have, as you see, 1.1 thousand science per, per, per minute yep. um, uh, over the last hour. And if we go to 10 hours, uh, it says 478 on my one. Just to explain yep. 478. Um, Might as well. Uh, but if you look here, you see back at four hours, we were actually producing 1,300 a minute. Yeah. Uh, very consistently. And then it died because we had a broken train. Um, and then it's come back again. So that we, we won. Um, so we've won. We, for four hours, we, we've, we've done it, and four hours seems good. And we could just leave it running now. All we have to do is basically go around and stop biters biting us. Yeah. Um, which we've we got left to do. Yeah, it, it, it's all all we have to do. It, it, it's just bite the biters. So we can slap a victory stamp on it. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Which is better than the last stamp I put on this video, which was fail, because we failed the last one. We did fail the last one. Uh, but. Uh, you know, okay. You know, there, there's failure, and then there's failure. Yeah, and and the failure wasn't necessarily that we failed. The failure was that I got the map settings really wrong. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that and that, that like, was like death world. Yeah, uh, with added with added death. Yeah, it it was a it was a very very death world. But we've made it. We've done it. We have successfully succeeded. We have. Task succeeded successfully, rather than task failed successfully. So the question is, what do we do next? Yeah. Do we retire, move to the Bahamas, go, go to go to uh, uh, Tahiti. It's a magical place. It is a magical place, but I imagine I would need more money than we have saved up from this series than that. Oh, oh, okay. Well, but we've got uh, we've got rockets, so we can just go and land there, and it'd be fine. No one, no one ever know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Or, or do we explore space? Yeah, that is something that came up, and that we were being very, very much. Uh, uh, chatting about is uh, what to do next because um, we would still want to play we still want to do other things uh, just don't know what and um, it was either going to be something different a different game possibly Project Zomboid was one to go on there so if, if people wanted to see that then do let us know we'll, we'll play um, 
We'll play what you want to see. You want to be popular? Yeah. Please. That is uh, the purpose of our lives is to be popular. Yes. Yes. Forty years in, I still have not achieved it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> um. But the other one that come up, uh, and we're talking about space, is uh, the Space Exploration mod. The Factorio Space Exploration mod, which is... Looks... Look, I'm not saying it is, because I haven't played it yet, but looks like a lot of fun. It uh, does. Uh, so, um, I will show it in a minute whilst I'm, I'm not dying from vices. Uh, Why am I not shooting missiles? Okay. You have uh, No, I have plenty. Mm, uh... I think my mouse was outside the screen. Ah, right. I was because I'm, I'm firing nukes off the edge of the screen. I don't know where you are, so I might be firing nukes. <laughs> <at you. laughs> uh, uh. That, that, that doesn't I'm, sound like a good thing. I shouldn't really be firing nukes that far. I should be. Uh... That's boom, boom. Those guys. Oh, you. I might insert stone inventory is full. What, why are you trying to insert stone? What? I'm not trying to insert stone anywhere. I, I, I'm not. My, my thing just said, can I ever insert stone inventory is full? What was trying to pick up stone? I guess you were uh, logistics bots because you blew up a stone or something. Okay, I'm walking over stone on the floor and all Whoa, the there's a. Lag. I'm not lagging. Maybe I'm delayed well, not, lagging. Not lag. Slow. Everything's slowed right now. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I I find a bit found a big fighter base. There's there's lots of big fighter bases. There are. In fact, they're so large that it seems like they're one. Maybe they are. Maybe this is it. Maybe the rest of the planet is just a biter base. Yeah, I think there must, there must be a hive brain here. God damn those nids. We'll get them. We'll get mm. them. Oh, I just saw you nuke something. I, 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 I couldn't see the nuke, but I could see the, the brightness of it. Yeah, you're, you're a fair distance from me, and I can see the flashes from this far, so... Oh, Jesus, that is a lot of fighters. Why, why don't you die a bit? There is a lot. There is an awful lot of fighters. It's kind of far away from... We're miles away from the... Okay. I, I, I think we're outside the pollution area, aren't we? Um, but yes, uh, let's, let me go somewhere a little bit safer. And, uh... Yeah. Uh, let, 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 let's go back to base. Uh, and look look a little bit about uh, at the space exploration thing, shall we? Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan because because I can hopefully find this worse. And oh, uh, b before before I go to space, I want to I want to say uh, in the last episode, I spoke about monitor things, the RGB, and uh, he lied. Uh, I was confusing myself with. I I was confused. I was not lying. It was he lied. Oh, excuse me. I keep I keep coughing. Um. Uh, I, I said it was red, yellow, blue is what the human eye sees, and I don't know whether that's true or not. Um, uh, I don't know. But, but what I was confusing myself with was that RGB is monitors and TVs. They use red, green, blue. Printers use what's called CMY, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, which is basically blue, red, yellow, um, although it's lighter on that, uh, because they're different technologies and they work differently, and I don't know why they're different technologies, I don't know why monitors uh, uh, are RGB and printers are CMY or or the like. I don't know why. I was going to have a look and try and figure it out and didn't. So I need to educate myself on that. Um, but the reason behind it, uh, as uh, a Nezik, Nezik, M Nezik, NA executive. There we go. Um, <laughs> Nezik, uh, thank you very much for commenting on the last episode. Um, the monitors are red, green, blue because they use uh, subtraction. Red, green, blue. Let me see where I get this. Um, 
uh, addictive. They use addictive, uh, addictive, addictive. They had, I'm addicted to colours. Um, uh, additive colour mixing, which means that they uh, they they start off black and they add either a certain amount of red, a certain amount of green, a certain amount of blue to get the colour you want. Um, whereas uh, CMY is subtractive, which means that you basically start with white because normally you put white paper in a printer, um, and then you cover up the colours by taking them away so if you put like a uh, uh, blue on there you'll take away so you can see the blue you know you, you add. so it takes away from that to and only the light will remain so if you add um uh if you mix cyan and magenta as he says in here uh, it will absorb red and green and only the blue light will remain so what are you reading uh one of the comments on the previous episode um, on my, my on the previous episode of factoria Okay, so so they're telling you about that cyan and magenta is some other color. Uh, if it, it, it's, it, I'm, I'm trying to explain it. If you go to the previous video and and look at the comment, it's it's worded so much better than I'm trying to explain it because my brain, my, my my mouth goes faster than my brain. I think is the problem. Um, oh. But uh. I rarely have that yeah. problem, but sometimes I do, and bad words yeah, come um, out, and I regret them immediately. Uh, but yeah, but if, if if you mix if you mix cyan and magenta together, uh, you get like a deep blue, mm -hmm. um, and you get a deep blue because the cyan and magenta absorbs the red and green light that's hitting it, and only the blue light comes back out again, so you see blue because everything you see is reflective light. So, um, so you know, white light hits something, and the color that you see is the light that's um, reflected off it. Doesn't get captured. Yeah. So black okay. means it's, it's it's absorbing as much light as possible, and it's giving back very little. So you see black, and white means it's not absorbing any light and it's reflecting all of it. So that I get. But monitors work in a different way. They they work the opposite direction. Um, so. Okay. Yeah, um, but is not all light reflected somehow? Yes, all light, all light is reflected. Yes, but the reason monitors have to work differently is because they are producing light and firing it at you. Oh, They're not bouncing light off of them. Okay. So therefore, like with a printer, when it puts the ink on a paper, it's putting ink on a paper to absorb certain light so you can see what's left. Mm. Whereas hmm. a monitor needs to do the opposite. And produce the light that gets beamed into your eyes. Okay. I so see. each pixel on your screen um, is the colours added together, whereas each pixel on a piece of paper that's printed is the colour colours taken away. I see. But I, I, I confused it too, and I confused it too, and said that the primary colours were red, green, and yellow, and they're not. The primary colours that the human eye sees would be cyan, magenta, and yellow. I had no idea. Cyan, uh, uh, cyan is blue anyway. Magenta is red, but it's lighter red because of how it works. But I just, I, I, I don't like sending misinformation, and I'm probably confusing lots of people. Uh, well, you're this. confusing me, that's for sure. Yeah, but hopefully you understand that the monitors have to produce light, so that's why they work as a different technology well, to I, 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 printers I, I, that work on reflective light. I do. That's why they look different when you turn them on. Yes. Yeah, um, and this is why you get the blue light filter glasses, which takes the blue light away from it because direct blue light is apparently bad for your eyes, and monitors really? produce that. Apparently, I don't know. I've never, I've never had an issue with monitor glare in my life. And no, I've me sat my monitor for probably three quarters of my life. So yeah, maybe I'm just used to it. I don't know. It's like people that have these keyboards. If you see the keyboards that I'm, we're going off the tangent now, sorry. Uh, the keyboards that are uh, like crooked. The uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried using one of them, and my it my wrist work. Were aching. We're aching. Yeah, uh, it's much better for you. It's like no, I'm so used to this. Maybe my bones just yeah. made it. I don't know. No, no, no. It's really not better for you. And but uh, maybe we were just made to be YouTubers. I think that's it. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps that's it. That's 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 possibly it. And I'm happy with that. That that will do with me. Yeah. Um, so. So I'll get right on that and I'll become a YouTuber. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> We're working on it. <laughs> oh, oh no. when, when can you officially say you're a YouTuber? How many subscribers do you need to say, yes, I'm a YouTuber? I have no uh, idea. 
Well, look, yeah, I, I, mean, I suppose I, I, it doesn't really have to do with subscribers, but can you make a living off it? That's true. If you want to be a professional YouTuber, then yeah, you need to make a living. So I am not a professional YouTuber, but YouTube sets the market. Google sets the market a thousand subscribers, doesn't it? That's like the, yeah, yeah. The you have done this now. Here, have the stuff. So yeah, that's true. I'm In that YouTuber case, we are YouTubers. Fun. I'm a YouTuber for fun, and I'm having lots of fun. I am too. It's a hell of a lot of fun. Indeed. Uh, so anyway, um, let me bring up space exploration onto the screen. I don't know if you can do the same or not, but I can. Uh, oh, I just need to turn on display um, capture. So, <laughs> the episode's been gone for 15 minutes and I've just been chatting about complete rubbish. Yeah, well, well uh, it's not rubbish. It's uh, it's just uh, things that are apologize, not applicable I... to me because I'm colorblind. <laughs> yes. Well, I'd, I'd, I would have thought color information would have been more interesting to you. because. Oh, that, but... it, it is. It is. Except I don't, I, I don't understand the 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 nuances because okay. uh, there are no nuances to me it's 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 yellow or it's red or it's blue or it's green or mm, uh, it's not like off yellow or uh, oh, okay. uh, yeah. stuff like that because it's just yellow I, I suppose it was more that I wanted to correct myself because what I said in the last episode was wrong. Of course, well, I say many enough. episodes are wrong, and I do like when people comment and point out that I got something. Not necessarily like "ha ha, you're wrong," but when they say "no, you're you're incorrect," and this is the real part, then I learn stuff, and and then other people Absolutely. can learn stuff, and it's great. Yeah, because that is fantastic. Stuff, learning stuff is good. So if anyone ever in any of my videos, um, if I say something that's, that's wrong, and you can prove I've done it wrong, tell me because otherwise I'm just going to keep saying the wrong thing, and I will never learn. And that's yeah, good. but don't just be like, "Ha ha, you're wrong," and then not tell me why. No. that doesn't help anyone. Constructive criticism, constructive corrections, not just you're wrong. Absolutely, absolutely, that's fantastic. Other than when it comes to nuking yourself, because that's just wrong. It, yeah, yeah, but who would do something stupid like that? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Anyway, space expression. Um. Yeah. It's a mod uh, for factory for, for factory town. No, <laughs> <laughs> wow, would that take the game in a different direction? <laughs> um, and we were looking at a pad, and and uh, uh, well, I say we you mentioned it, and I had a quick glance at it, and it was like, I like this, I like this a lot. This looks good. If anyone knows this mod, then it's fantastic. Um, and I obviously, uh, there are going to be people watching that want to more see probably vanilla Factorio. Um, we're no good at either of the ones, so it doesn't really matter what one <laughs> no, we're, yeah. we're We're just bad at it. <laughs> but Space Exploration uh, is exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, you start off on a single world, and then you can build a rocket and go to other worlds. And other worlds have certain resources you might need to build new things. Um, uh, and it has stuff, elevation of water changes, and, and uh, you get alien biomes and... And, uh, yeah, you, you have to build uh, bases in space. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, you, you can and build. go to other other planets, and mm -hmm. it's just really cool, really. Yeah, it just feels like something that just the, the I mean, you can do more. And I th I think like the supercomputer is like the end goal, so there is a goal to the game. Um, but I don't know because I've never played it before and not really looked at it. But it doesn't necessarily need an end of the game. Um, but yeah, you can build you can build space stations uh, in over uh, asteroid uh, asteroid fields and yeah, um, and then you have to mine resources on one world and then get it shipped back to another world, which means that you might have to ship resources from the first world in to build rockets to ship it out to the other side. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, and there are and more than six hundred places to visit. Like uh, planets, moon, stars, asteroid fields. So you you'll be really be working in different environments and and different yes. uh, and, and and some environments have some 
resources other environments don't so so you kind of have to plan out where do you want to go to get the resources that you need to progress yeah yeah it's um it, it, yeah it's, it's like oh so we need to go to this world to get this resource but it doesn't have iron in this world so we can't build a rocket there so you got to import enough iron to build a rocket to get back off the world because otherwise you're stuck exactly so yeah um uh, there are many more resources including arcosphere it's complicated it is complicated i like that i like that i don't even know what it is i thought it was i read it as atmosphere first i'm like mm. yeah that's complicated but arcosphere is probably even more complicated uh, uh, probably because uh, it's probably atmosphere times two or something uh yeah possibly uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know but you get uh, there, there's um, there's radio connections as well. And f f what I understand, uh, if you don't have communication to somewhere, you can't see the world. Yeah. You know, like if you haven't built a satellite in orbit and don't have communication with satellite, you can't go to that world and see it. Um, so that's cool. I like signal stuff. Uh, and uh, as far as I understand, we will really need to work with uh, logics networks because things can go wrong uh, i'm not entirely sure on that but uh, that is my understanding yes yeah i think it's also that you don't really want to just be storing all this stuff in a box because no, exactly. resources are finite they're not infinite although there is a core miner but it's very slow um so you don't want to just go hey we'll just fill a box full of iron ore uh, you probably would early on but you know what i mean um it's more that you want to process that very quickly into what you need to process it into, but only process what you need. Yeah. And not have stuff stored, which works pretty. That's a very satisfactory version of plan. You don't store goods in that. You just produce what you need to produce the next thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you don't really want to store up goods, uh, basic materials you would do, because obviously you need to build things, but but you can build orbital stations, so you can have a mining, uh, not a uh, refinery station in orbit, send all the stuff in, build what you're building, and then send it down to a planet or off somewhere else. Yeah. Um, um, asteroid fields are space with little bits of dotted rocks around, which looks interesting. Uh, the space walking life support was one that I, I found very interesting. Was like, oh, you, you need a you need a spacesuit to walk around in space. That makes sense. It does. It does. Uh, but do you that or life... implode. Yeah, uh, you also need life support modules and canisters, and that that sounds like something that we're going to have lots of fun with. Oh yeah, uh, there, there will one probably be a few deaths. Bring me a canister, because I'm going to die. <laughs> uh, and you bring rockets, and you can build. Sp Spaceships, which I'm not too sure on. Well, I... We don't really know how any of it works. We'll just have to find out. If you guys want to watch it. That's indeed, yes. Yeah, th this is kind of what we're leaning towards. Um, we have no issue with playing some other game as well. I said Project Zomboid was one that we mentioned. Yeah. Um, might want to give that a go. That has a multiplayer update recently. Um, I've never played Project Zomboid. I've watched lots of people play it, so it looks like something I would enjoy, but I don't know if it's something that's particularly... Well, I'm just about... I was just about to say, it's not something that might be interesting to watch, and then I remember I've watched people play hours and hours of this game, so... Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun to to watch, and it's a lot of yeah. fun fun to play as well. Uh, I've I played a, around 100 and... What? 30-odd hours, I think, of Project Sunboard. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play. Uh, it's brutal game. It really is a brutal game. Yes. Uh, so, so there, there's, there, there's no uh, like, oh, I died. I'll come back. No. Uh, if you die, you die, and you need to start a new character. Uh, yeah, you've got to re-roll someone else. Yeah. Uh, Which is, uh, is, I like that. I did, I did mention to you before about the whole the bitey thing. I think is a little a little over the top but then it doesn't matter we can play with default settings whatever um yeah 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 uh, so it's a i mean project sambar is a great game and i i i personally have been thinking about uh 
uh, doing a series on it myself uh, because I enjoy it a lot uh, but uh, doing it together with uh, STR Jog could be fun as well and and uh, I but we're open to every, anything really uh, anything yeah, multiplayer if you've, got, if you've got suggestions you want to see yeah multiplayer we, we can play whichever wherever um, it's just I mean Factorio has kind of become a thing that we've played which is why obviously looking at the uh, the space exploration or yeah. if there's any other mod stuff people want to see or if you just want to see um like the default game with some other weird challenge or something i don't know what i don't know what, but we i mean we're no good at the game and then we want to make it harder for ourselves which is fun yeah it is it is um and uh and uh, one thing to keep in mind is uh latency uh obviously yes. don't, you don't yeah. know about it but uh, basically, uh, we're on opposite sides of the world. Uh, SDR Jog is in the UK and I am in Thailand. So, uh, so yeah, the, there are some distance issues for some games. But uh, if the technology allows, then, uh, then we're open to pretty much playing anything. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, um, yeah, pretty much anything. I mean, I, I have no issue playing any real game, to be honest with you. Uh, not a big fan of scary games, but that's just because jump scares just don't do it for me. Um, what you don't jump? No, no, I do jump. I do. I get. I get scared at jump scares, but I don't find it exciting. You know, oh. people like the jump scares are exciting, and that's what makes the game fun. I, I just find that like, no, I don't want to do this. Wow, you're a weirdo. Horror games are fine when they have a horror story and there's some creepy thing going on. It's oh, yeah. but jump scares are just like no. It just makes me like no. I don't. I don't enjoy this. I don't enjoy oh. you know the. Wow, uh, you are a strange one. Not, I love not, that. It's not, it's, it's not something I enjoy. I have no idea with a scary you know a scary story and and you never know what's going to happen. And it might have the odd jump scare here and there because it has to. But when it's used like um. Uh, I've seen people play Phasmophobia, Phasmophobia, whatever it's called, Phasmophobia, um, and that's good because it doesn't really have jump scares unless you get caught, and it's not really a jump scare, it's more of a whole, you're grabbed and then the hand creepily comes around. Uh, that's fine, because that's that, that makes sense, you know, and then you might have like a flashing person there, oh, oh, what was that, you know, but it's not like in your face, ah, scary, you know, big face, ha ah, ah, ha, screaming at you, <laughs> like I've seen some of these VR scary worlds, it's like, that's not... Once it happens four or five times, it's just like, yeah, all right, get on with it. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, I, 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 I kind of like it, to be honest. I, I like uh, <laughs> it gets my heart beating, but I am not yeah. easy to scare. Mm, uh, oh, okay, uh, I, yeah. I am easy to scare. I think that's probably the reason behind it. But it, it's, I said, I don't mind the scare. It's just jump scares. I just don't find entertaining. I just, I just like, you know, yeah, once or I, twice is okay. But then people overdo them. They always overdo them. Every you go around a corner and ah, it's it's, it's not just like it's in the distance. Like flash, flash, there's a creature. Oh god, it's no, it no, flashes it's a... there and then flashes right in your face and then flashes. It's like just stop it now. Yeah, I it, I, it, I do comes... understand that. I do understand that. I, th I, can't, I can't remember the game that I was playing, but it, it had a lot of jump scares in it, and it was just you're getting in the way of me playing the game. Yeah, it's not exciting because the jump scares don't even like hurt you or kill you. They just they just boom, you know. It's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Just getting in the way of me playing the game. Yeah, they, 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 they don't have a gameplay functionality. Yeah, you can't run away from them. You can't avoid them. They just happen. It's mm. like, nah, no. Nah, yeah, but. yeah if, if there's no point to it, if it's not a dangerous thing, then I understand. Then why why do it? Yeah. But if, yeah, if, it, I mean, if, it, if it's because you've missed something, and something jumps jumps out of you and and attacks you, then I think it's fair play. Oh yeah, yeah, that that would be all right too as well. I can't there as um, I said I can't remember the game that I was playing that did that to her, but it just it just constantly pops on the screen just to be just to, you know, if you looked at them when they were like in the distance, uh, then they put and they just appear in your face for a, for a split second and then go mm. and then scream and then go away. It's like you're not. No, you're just annoying me. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I got I think, crazy with it. I think one of the aliens games did that. 
I don't, I don't remember what it, what, what it was. It was it was scary little girl, like ring style girl was the game. But uh, there's another one where you got that girl. woman who's a spider, um, and when she gets you, it's it's a jump scare, but then you die. So that's fair enough. That's the whole. I got to, Oh, and I'm dead. Okay, yeah. so there's a reason behind it. She got me. That is um, fair. But you can hear the spider coming, so you can run away from it. You can react to it. Said so this one was just like the whole. I don't, and it was a long time ago, so I don't know. Yeah. But. I don't know. Uh, I enjoyed the Silent Hill games quite a bit. Oh, they were good, but they weren't really jump scares, were they? They were. Uh, there were some, weren't there? I think there were some. I suppose. It's like Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil 2, as you're running through the uh, the police station. They did a few jump scares in that. Yeah, the, they did. The zombies breaking through the window, stuff like that. That was all right because it's like, whoa, and then you have to tap the button to get the zombies off you. So there's a, a reason yeah. behind it. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe it's just this one game that I played that's ruined it for me. Maybe it's just that. Hmm. I don't know. Whoever made that game, shame on you. I don't even remember what the game was. But I remember you were going through. I think it was like, because it, it, it reminded me of, of when I watched people play Phasmophobia, it reminds me of the game because it was like a deserted school or something. Mm hmm. And it had the stupid, there's a trolley in the way. You can't possibly jump over that. You'll have to walk around. Oh, so that sort of mechanic game. Um, and then you walk around and it's like you walk down and get stuck. And then when you turn around, she's there. It goes, and, uh, and then she's like, oh, what? Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Um, yeah. We won. Factorio. We won. Yay. Hooray us. So let us know what you want to see next. Let us know what you want to see next, and we will we will bow to peer pressure because we are. Uh, yeah, we're weak souls. Simple animals. Um, who want to see things, but we we kind of we 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 want to play space exploration. We we we're we're, we're a little bit excited about space space exploration. We are. Uh, so 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 if you vote for that, we'll appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do let us know in the comments, and 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 we will, we will have to, uh, yeah, take it from there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye so bye. shall we leave this one here, and uh, and we'll be done. And there won't obviously there's only be one extra this week, I'm afraid. Um, all we have left to do basically is kill biters and stop them attacking the base. Yeah. And that's no more. Yeah, we can, no we fun can record anymore. another two episodes of us nuking biters, but I don't think that's worth doing. But <laughs> nah, nah. Let's not do that. I, I think. Uh, what, what? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> that was not intentional. You tried to oh. nuke me, you bastard. I tried to nuke both of us. I did not realize I could nuke our own stuff. <laughs> oh, well. oh, well. oh. All right. Oh. All right. Yeah, we'll leave it here. So, thank you all very much for watching. Um, okay. Um, yeah. we, we hope you enjoyed this this whole playthrough and we will see you in whatever the next thing may well be uh, so until then as always have fun bye bye <laughs>